So Ryan, when we went through the strategic envisioning process, leadership embraced that process, uh, really hook, line, and sinker. Uh, and we did some early things to help build the team. Uh, they were a team that was disjointed. Uh, they had never been in a team like this before. They knew of each other, but they actually didn't know how to work together. So part of the process is actually helping them learn how to work together. So it's a fun experience to yes, do that, and we do, sure. do funny things. But what has happened in terms of leadership as a result of that um, experience for them? Yeah. You've talked some about change. You've talked some about that they embrace that. Some of the leaders actually left yeah. uh, along the way uh, in the process. Um, but the fact is that there are, there's a remnant, if you Absolutely. will, yeah. of leaders here. Right. How has that changed them yeah. in the fact of their ministries and their service here at the Mount? Yeah, I think, I think what, what you're may, maybe getting out there, I think, is the key for us is that it's team, it's together. Um, you know, Paul describes the church as the body, and the body works together. Each member has its function. And a lot of times what, what churches can fall into is, well, we have a pastor, a gifted pastor who kind of does everything. Um, and I heard this last week and that the church isn't an assembly with a gifted pastor, but rather it's an assembly with gifted people. And so what we're trying to do is get people involved in the ministry. Ephesians 2, our job is, as ministers is to equip the body to do the work of ministry, to equip them and empower them to do the work of ministry. So one of the things that you guys, when you come in and assemble a team of 21 people that have to work together, here's what you're communicating. Man, this is about to get the, the team. We're better together. And so that is something we've tried to celebrate and remind even our staff that we've brought on. Hey, we're not calling you in to just do this ministry and make it happen. We're calling you in to lead a team to make this ministry happen. And so that is something that, that we we have to fight against too is, is you know, solo. You know, we, we have very gifted staff and Let's be honest, it's easier sometimes just to do it yes. and not involve people. So we have to fight against that. I have to fight against that. All of our staff has to fight against that. And bringing people along, discipling, mentoring, leading others. And so that's really a critical point of where we're at right now is continuing to, to empower our people, to equip our people, to bring others around us. And so um, I would say it's not just, you know, lay leadership that need to understand that, but, our, but even our called staff, you know, we're having to remember that. Um, you know, we moved to an elder model, a plurality of elders. And so that's from top down. We model that from the very top all the way down. The importance of team and a plurality and working together. It's not always easy. It's not always clean. It's kind of messy sometimes. But in the end, we believe that's what God's called us to. Awesome. Awesome. You know, it's been a, a journey for you, but it's been a, a fun experience watching you uh, and seeing the church um, go through this transformation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it, it truly is God, God work. For sure. Yeah, when Absolutely. we talk about the process, strategic yeah. envisioning, right. we talk about it being a spiritual journey. Absolutely. It is not a man journey. Right. No. Uh, we're seeking God's face right. and bowing before him humbly right. saying, here's this church that was planted sovereignly by him. Ultimately, it's probably right. several humans. That's okay, right. Yeah. Families, but couples, God used it. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that so. t- started it. Yeah. Uh, but the fact is, is that he then progresses it through the work of, of humans like ourselves yeah. and um, uses us in our, our uh, giftedness yeah. to see the body become fully functioning. That's right. Yeah, followers it's, of Jesus it's his body, but he uses the people. And that, that's the, I don't know why. God could have done it some other way. Probably would have been better, but he knows what he's doing. He knows so, what he's doing. That's um, right. It's a joy to be part of, part of the journey, you know. And, and I would tell people, you know, the Malfurs group is not like a plug and play. Don't you wish it was just, hey, just here it is, plug and play. It's not how it works. It's not, you know, revitalization in a box that you have to really tweak for where you are. And that's the God aspect, you know, working along with the human aspect here of doing his work. So, yep. It yeah. takes flexibility on that's all right. our parts. Absolutely. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Ryan, I appreciate your heart yeah, well, thank uh, you. for the yeah. ministry. Thank you. Yeah.